Yeah. Hi, welcome back to Cheat the Around the World. Today we are in Lisbon, Portugal. Um, what we'll be doing today, today and tomorrow to be fair, we're going to be trying some Portuguese food. We're going to be eating stuff, seeing what it's about, seeing what the food here is like. I can't confirm that everything I will eat will be Portuguese because it's a city and there's loads of different types of food in the city. So don't come for me, please, please, please. I'm begging you. It's Christmas time. Look, show them the big Christmas tree. Look, show them the big, big Christmas tree. It's time to be festive. It's time to be festive and joyous. So I only want positivity in my comment down below. But yeah, we're in the city center right now. Um, I'm very excited. Without further ado, let's get to the video. Let's go to the first location. Boom. We are in, we've just gone to Manta, Mant Mantegaria. Don't know if I pronounced that right. And we've got some pastillas de nata. So this is the first thing. This is what everybody recommends you try when you come to Lisbon, when you come to Portugal. So um, I'm gonna try it. It's just been freshly made in there. Um, what can I see about it so far? It's very, very flaky. It's almost like a croissant-esque out, outer, outer bit. And the inside looks very yummy. I don't know, let's try it. Mm. It's like a croissant that's been filled with cinnamony custard. It's very nice. It's very, very nice. It's a very good start. <coughs> Look. The outside is extremely, extremely crispy. You can't really eat this and keep yourself clean, so... But yeah, this is very good. We are in Lando. Don't know if that's how you pronounce it. But we've got this chocolate cake that's apparently supposed to be the best chocolate cake in Lisbon, in Portugal, in the world, maybe. Who knows? I don't know, there's a few of them. So yeah, we're gonna try it. It's quite soft. That's gone through it very easily. So. That is so chocolatey. That, there's cocoa powder on the top of it. So that just coats your mouth straight away with like this intense chocolate flavor and the cake itself is very soft you can't really taste you can taste it but there isn't kind of a lot of texture to it, it kind of all just melts away in your mouth so if you like that sort of stuff there's some um, chocolate in the middle as well that's that's what that is it's nice it's not the best chocolate I've ever had in my life but it's all right So right now we've come to um, we've come to the timeout market in Lisbon, and so we've had a look around. I couldn't really find too much stuff that's like proper Portuguese. So I've just chosen the things that I find interesting. And one of the things that I saw, which is interesting, was a, a octopus hot dog. I've had octopus before, but I've never had it in a hot dog, and I didn't know that octopus could be used in a hot dog. But yeah. Let's see, so it looks kind of grilled. It's a little bit cold, but let's try it. It's got some aioli on top, so we'll see. I know it's octopus, but that is very fishy. It doesn't have kind of the, it doesn't have the snap that you'd usually get from like a normal, from like a normal hot dog casing. But it's still, the aioli on it is quite nice. I think it's garlic infused. It's still quite nice, but 
that fish flavor on this is very, very intense. That's very, very strong, but I'll give it another go. Yeah. The fish flavor on this is very strong. It kind of overpowers everything else. And so it's just intense fish and garlic. If you like those sort of things, then maybe you like this. But for me, I'm sort of busy about it. So, yeah. So, the more, the more I've eaten this, it's actually not bad, it's actually quite nice. The, you kind of get used to that intense fishy flavor pretty quickly. And once you're over that, it's actually quite a nice hot dog. It's different to it. There's a normal hot dog, so if you're like pescatarian, I would say try an octopus um, hot dog instead of having like a, instead of having one of those ones, like Megan McCarthy or whatever it's called. The, the vegan sausage ones. Oh, Linda McCartney. Linda McCartney. I've got a Iberian pulled pork sandwich. Hold on. It's like a Yeah. So Iberian pulled pork with red onion, some looks like rocket. Like yeah, some sort of green, I don't know. Like but yeah, let's try it. That's delicious. Look, there's a little bit, whatever, whatever that sauce is, the little relish that's in there, I think it's red onion relish. That is so nice. It actually, to be quite honest, it overpowers the pork pork a little bit. The pork pork is quite flavorless. Um, but that red onion relish is really carrying this whole thing and it, it makes it so so nice. Whatever that green is as well, has a bit of herbiness to it. So Yeah. The pork pork is also to be fair, it's still juicy a little bit, but it's just not it's not the most depressing thing in the world, but the, that red onion relish, oh my god. Very nice. Why you I'm a bit of this. Mm. So finally, we've got the. Braised sardine fillet on bread with um, red bell pepper jam. Um, I thought, I thought the sardines would be boneless, but I was wrong. They have bones in them, so I've got to be careful. But I'm still going to risk it and just try to take a bite. I'm going to be very honest. I love sardines. But this needs, I need some salt, I need some pepper, I need some flavor. All that is on there is just plain sardines with a bit of tomato, some peppers, and, and whatever this leaf is. There's not really much flavor going on in there, to be quite honest. But it's still very quite light, very balanced. But it just, for me, it lacks a little bit of flavor. I would eat it if I could put some maybe vinegar on them, some little salt, some pepper, and I think then it would be beautiful, delicious, because I love sardines. But yeah, it's not bad. Give it like a five out of 10. Boom, like magic. Day two. We've gone to, I'm never gonna try to pronounce that, but that's the box. And we've seen this thing all around Lisbon. It's called a codfish cake. I don't know how to open the box, but here's what it looks like. I'll take it out. It's been neatly wrapped. See? Codfish, codfish cake. What do I think a codfish cake is? 
I think it's a fish, codfish, wrapped in. I think it's a it's a codfish wrapped in potato, mashed potato. But this is just any mashed potato. Ugh. Oh no, the whole thing is the codfish. I think it's been kind of mixed with potato and that's cheese in the middle. So. Yeah, that's ass. The fifth, the fish is too, it's too fishy. It's too strong. It tastes like a fish that I had one time when I um, went to like a Basque restaurant. Like it tastes like it's been cured in like salt. So it's extremely salty. The cheese in the middle, I don't really like the cheese. It's giving, I don't really know what it's giving. But it's just not, it's just not for me this. But it's worth an experience. It's only four euros. So, but yeah, nah, that's, that's codfish cake for you. What's the sun saying? Is it all good? Okay, cool. So, um, there's a there's a market nearby where we're staying, and it's raining a little bit, but it's sunny at the same time. It's weird. But there's a market nearby where we're staying. It's like a little food market, Christmas market type thing. So I decided to take a walk through, see what we could get, and came across this place that does like sandwiches and stuff like that, and they have sausages. So I've got a platter of sausages. I've got a platter of meat. <laughs> Anyway, so what I've got here is the black pudding chorizo, chicken and bread sausage, and just the normal chorizo. So I'm gonna try the black pudding one first. It's all right if you like black pudding. It's very intense, the flavor is very intense. It's basically like a black pudding, but in, in a sausage casing. If that makes sense. So if you know black pudding, you know what it tastes like. Let's try this chicken one. It looks like it's got ham in it. Like pieces of ham. Yeah. So that's got chorizo bites in it, within it. It's all right to be fair. All of these are quite very, not bready, soft in the middle, look. It's like, it's almost like stuffing. Um, the way it is but oh and then now the chorizo itself one thing I've noticed about the chorizo here is that it's quite fatty compared to normal like Spanish chorizos I guess um, the way more fatty bits in the middle which makes it a tougher chew sometimes but it's still nice it's all right Cool. So we started this video with me trying some pastillas de nata. We're gonna end it with me trying another pastillas de nata. One of the things I realized is from traveling around Lisbon, the one we went to yesterday is actually a chain. And I don't think, you know, if you want to review food, I don't think you should generally go to chains to do it. So um, there's this place right by us called Confiteria, Confitaria Nacional. I hope I'm pronouncing that right. And they do this too. Look at that. Look, it's so so it's so crispy, it's falling off. But mm. anyway, let's try it. Mm. It's very good. This is a lot more not savory, but it's not as sweet as the other one. The flavors are more subdued. I can tell a lot of effort. Anyway, I can tell a lot of effort has gone into kind of making that custard, making sure it's balanced. And the pastry itself, look, you can see all the different layers within the pastry. It's almost like a, it's like a croissant in the way it's been layered multiple times. It's very crispy. It's crunchy. It's trying so hard to hold itself together, and it's not doing a very good job because. But this is lovely, though. This is definitely better than the other place. But yeah, so 
I'm going to end the video on this. I hope you've enjoyed. Make sure you like, share, subscribe, all of that stuff. And yeah, this has been Cheat Day Around the World in Lisbon. We are over and out. Hope to see you next time. Bim bam bye. Yeah.